Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Better South. Today we've got Eric George here with Building Performance, and we're going to give you five keys to home comfort in your new home. So, Eric, start us off with number one, air sealing. Sure. Uh, so, you know, one of the most important things that you should do in your house is make sure that it's uh, air sealed properly. So making sure like windows and doors have been, um, you know, foamed around with minimal expansion foam. You're sealing all the electrical and plumbing penetrations, gas pipes, anything that goes through the outside of the house. But one of the things that people forget about a lot is, um, you know, the way that the house is framed can create a lot of po uh, potential air leakage paths. So uh, making sure, you know, drywall sealed to framing if you want to make it really tight up in the attic. If you've got any bulkheads or knee walls, there's some other things you might have to do. So okay. there's there's definitely a, a lot that you can uh, do with air sealing to make sure it's comfortable. All right. No, I think that's a great tip. And and with air sealing, let's move on to number two, which is proper insulation. Yes. Yeah. Properly insulating the house for sure. So um, you know it has to be built and insulated to code, right? But there's a lot of things that uh, code doesn't really account for that um, you may want to go above and beyond on your new house. So. Uh, just because they allow to have fiberglass insulation in a rim joist doesn't mean that it's going to perform well. So, um, well, and just because you're using, say, for example, an upgraded spray foam, it's got to be installed properly for it to work right. Right. So that's one thing that we do is we come in and make sure that the insulation has actually been installed properly. The foam's not gapping or pulling away from the framing. Um, you know, it really comes down to the installer. Yeah. Um, so walls are important. Foundation walls are really important. So a lot of people don't think that their foundation walls need to be insulated, but uh, yeah, you told me the other day that uh, the insulation factor of a nine-inch or ten-inch foundation wall was what an R1. Like that's equivalent to what a single-pane glass window, basically. That's my. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Or I mean, really pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's move on to number three, and that's sizing your HVAC properly. What's that mean? So when you've um, decided how you're going to insulate and air seal, or yeah, insulate and air, air seal the house, uh, depending on the type of insulation that you use, the type of windows and doors that you use, uh, the orientation to the sun, all these things affect what's called the heating and cooling load of the house. So um, your HVAC contractor should be doing uh, what's called a manual J, <clears throat> and that basically says, okay, based on how they're going to build this house and insulate it and everything else. It needs a three ton air conditioner or a two ton, or it needs a this size furnace. And so, one of the things that we do for um, you and our other builders is um, a projected rating that takes into account those things, and we give you uh, what's called a block load. So, to compare to your heating and cooling contractor. So, this whole house needs this much cooling, this much heating. Yeah, it seems like the heating contractors are always want to oversize everything. Yeah. And that's to make up for deficiencies in their equipment or their duct systems that aren't performing the way that they should or for certain situations where they may have a bunch of extra guests at the house and they just want that extra capacity. But you know, 95% of the time, they're only gonna need what's actually designed for that house. And so if the system's oversized, it's not gonna perform as efficiently as it could otherwise and it's gonna cause comfort problems. Cool. Well, speaking of system not performing properly, uh, let's move on to number four, which is insulating that ductwork. Yeah, and, and properly sizing the ductwork. That's probably the most important part. It's, you have to, um, you know, once you've sized your equipment, then you have to size the ductwork so that it matches what the equipment needs. So um, one thing that we see a lot in new construction, unfortunately, is undersized return ductwork. And so um, sometimes that's a factor of not having enough space in the house due to framing or design challenges. These open floor plans. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, or just putting a furnace in a closet where there's not enough room to provide enough ductwork to come back to the system. So properly sizing the ductwork is really important. Um, air sealing the ductwork and then insulating it is really important as well so that you get consistent temperatures throughout the house. Good stuff. All right, let's close it out with number five and that's proper ventilation. Yes, so once you've properly air sealed, insulated your house and everything else, you need to manage the moisture um, inside the house. So cooking, laundry, um, baths and showers, that, that all creates moisture inside the house. So uh, the last thing that you want is a lot of moisture building up inside a tight, insulated, in, well insulated house. Yeah. So um, making sure like the kitchen uh, range has an exhaust fan that goes outside the house. It's not just circulating that moisture <laughs> inside the house. Gotcha. 
Uh, bath fans actually go out of the house as well. They're not just venting up into the attic and dumping moisture in the attic. Um, and then, you know, sometimes you'll even put like um, uh, sensors on it so that those fans automatically kick on That's when good. you get into the bathroom or when the humidity hits a certain level. So okay. managing the moisture is really important inside these houses. Well, I think that's a great tip. And I think those five items should help create a more cozy house, especially if you guys are looking to build or renovate your house. So check out those things. And Eric with Building Performance, thanks for joining. I'm Jason with Artisan Signature Homes, and we'll see you guys next time.